Welcome to work. Coming in the back door off of Plessy Road. Just down the road from Transcona. Entering Summington Yard. One of the largest classification yards in, in the world, as a matter of fact. Taken in the back door into the LRC uh, diesel shop where I work. We're going to go over lots of tracks. Lots and lots of checks. It has about five minutes traveling time from my home to get to work as compared to taking the highway, but it gives me a chance to get in the, uh, the spirit of work, if there's a can call it such a thing. You gotta keep your eyes wide open and your head on a swivel going through the yard here. And there we have the hump much maligned hump during hunter's years. I wanted to close it down just to teach us a lesson. But it still operates very efficiently. Put over 2,000 cars a day over that hump. There you see a, an engine with a slug or a slave unit. There's two engines there. Looks like. Doesn't sound too good. pick up a car or cars and now we're gonna go underneath the hump do a little tunnel we're in the far eastern end of the yard right now we should take a minute and go up and show you cars coming down the hump you see one's going there now so at the top of the hump the cars are uncoupled and they roll down the hill and head off into their various class tracks all controlled by computer and we're gonna do a UE and start heading back get back on track to the diesel shop. And lots of wildlife in the yard this time of year. We got some geese. Yeah, happy looking guy. Oh, do head bob, do head bob. Every once in a while you see one in the right over. It's a very popular spot for the geese returning from the south. And uh, we'll see quite a few of them on the way. Keep the head on the swivel. This is a part of the yard, the third road. A little bumpy. But, uh, further on, we'll get off the pavement. So that'll be the Trans Canada Highway right up there, for Furmore, Highway 1. If you go left on that, you'll be in Montreal in two days. Okay, now we're heading west. You can see downtown Winnipeg off in the distance there to the right. There's always lots of activity out here in the yard. The guys are setting up trains, doing inspections, repairs. And the ride should smooth out now. Goslings of the year. Yeah, they're always cute. Uh, 
Let's take a quick look peek at those little guys. Look at them. Those are brand new babies. Probably born today. Yeah, it's different. Different way of coming into work. Instead of coming through the highway, you wouldn't see that. And way up straight, as far as down, you see this little yellow building. That's where I work. In the diesel shop. And we're on pavement now. The ride's a bit smoother. Surrounded by cars. Poisonous cars there. It's 1830. I'll have to take a look at that later. Everybody excited? Track panels on it. See in here, just in case it's a track failure, they can quickly place a section track without having to work individual ties. anymore. Yeah. There's room down at the bottom of the tower, I do believe. Uh, lunch room for the guys. It's at the, the third level of the tower there. You see on the top, it's not being used anymore. Been pretty lucky, I haven't had any trains crossing in front of us. Can get caught once in a while. Have to wait 10 or 15 minutes for a track to pull through. Transport off of Elijah Moke. So, yeah, this yard is huge. We're about, I'd say, two thirds of the way through the yard. It still goes off for another kilometer or so. In a real bad section here. Got a little muddy the other day in the rain. Got a little bumpy de bumps. Of course, at midnight tonight, if I was going to take this way, I'd be going the other direction. That's pretty ingenious, eh? The maintenance building. And you can start to see the, the doors to the back of the diesel shop. Altogether, there's 20, 20 tracks. Ten on each side of the building. Plus, at the back, there's trip pits that can accommodate all whack mark locomotives. Doors 11 and 12, you see on this side of the building, are mine. That's where I work. And uh, during the nice warm weather, the doors would be open at this time of day, but it's still pretty chilly for this time of year. And here, pulling up to parking. Scramble parking, as they call it. First come, first served. There's only uh, three reserved spots, and that would be for the managers right here. And there's the entrance, entrance way. Happy guys going into work. And let's see what kind of a spot we're going to find today. More geese. Oh, okay, we got a good spot here. big sign that you see up there it says LRC app stands for locomotive reliability center this is where they prep all the locomotives to for the trains that'll be heading out well hope you liked it